the other day a student of medicine came with this doubt uh, there is pulmonary capillary pressure and there is pulmonary capillary wedge pressure what are these two different pressures how they are different so let's try to understand what these two pressures are well by the way when the student came with the doubt he had written pulmonary capillary wedge pressure on the notebook and he had written pulmonary capillary wedge this was the wedge that he had written anyways i had to correct him it's pulmonary capillary wedge pressure as if creating a wedge between the two sides okay so let's understand what these pressures are starting with the pulmonary capillary pressure first thing this is about 15 mm of hg this is a naturally occurring pressure in the pulmonary capillaries look right ventricle pumps the blood into the pulmonary artery which goes uh, then the blood goes to the pulmonary capillaries then pulmonary vein the oxygenated blood it comes back to the left side of the heart so we are talking about the pulmonary capillary pressure uh, pulmonary artery has got a pressure which is reflective of the right ventricular pressure the pulmonary artery pressures are 25 systolic and 8 diastolic so if we consider the figure of 25 then in the pulmonary capillaries the pressure that exists is 15 mm of hg so let that be clear pulmonary capillary pressure is a pressure that exists naturally in the pulmonary capillaries and it is in the range of 15 mm of hg that being said what is then the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is not a naturally occurring pressure in the pulmonary capillaries it does not exist naturally in the pulmonary capillaries it gets created because of a maneuver certain maneuver done by us let's understand this in detail look uh, we need to record the atrial pressures in certain conditions for instance in the conditions of heart failure we need to record major the atrial pressures for instance right atrial pressure uh, is measured it's sometimes called as central venous pressure and there has to be a continuous central venous pressure monitoring cvp monitoring now right atrial pressure recording measurement is relatively easier one way of doing it is uh the jugular venous pressure and the jvp the jugular venous pulse and jugular venous pressure it is reflective of the right atrial pressure look internal jugular vein drains into the superior vena cava which then drains into the right atrium and from the right atrium up to the internal jugular vein in this entire path the entire course there is there are no valves and since there are no valves there is no pressure drop from the right atrium up to the internal jugular vein and hence the pressure in the right atrium gets reflected as it is as such over the internal jugular vein so if we are measuring the jvp the jugular venous pressure uh by two scales you might have learned this in the on the clinical side then that jugular venous pressure tells you the story of right atrial pressure so this is relatively easy to measure or uh, if you this is an indirect me, uh, measurement if you want to measure the pressure directly uh, then there is a method insert a catheter with a balloon at the tip and that catheter is inserted in a vein and advance that catheter further and further all veins lead to right side of the heart so this catheter will also reach the right side of the heart it will enter the right atrium now place this catheter in the right atrium in the right atrium and connect the catheter to a manometer you can measure the right atrial pressure directly so relatively easy to measure the right atrium uh, right atrial pressure 
Now, what about the left atrial pressure? How do we access the left atrium? It is very difficult to access the left atrium. Some of you might be thinking that uh, left atrium gives rise to the, I mean left side of the heart sends the blood into the arteries. So, insert a catheter in an artery and send it retrograde against the flow of blood, it will reach the left side of the heart. No, that's better said, easier said than done. I mean, it's uh, practically impossible to achieve that. Then what, uh, what is the other option? The pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. So, the first point is pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is reflective of the left atrial pressure. When we are measuring pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, we are actually measuring the left atrial pressure and it is in the range of about 5 mm of Hg. What is the procedure? There is a procedure, there is a maneuver that uh, is performed. We insert a catheter with a balloon tip, uh, I mean at the tip of the catheter there, will, there is a balloon and this catheter is inserted in a vein. It is advanced further and further till it reaches right side of the heart, right atrium, right ventricle. It can still be maneuvered further into the pulmonary artery. So, the catheter is advanced further and further and further and at one point when the balloon is inflated, now it will snugly fit at that in that place. It will be snugly fitting into that place and it will completely obstruct the blood flow. It will create a wedge, creating a wedge. So, it has created a wedge now. As it obstructs the blood flow, then within next few seconds, measure the pressure from that point of the pulmonary capillary. It would be called as pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. Now, what happens is, because it has completely obstructed the blood flow, that means from that point onward, from that wedge which is created, from that point onward up to the left atrium, there is no flow. Flow has been stopped for a few seconds. And if there is no flow of blood, there is no pressure drop. There is no pressure change, there is no pressure drop, there is no pressure difference. So, after a few seconds, if you measure the pressure at this point, then it will be same as the left atrial pressure and therefore the pressure which you measure at this point will be called as pulmonary capillary wedge pressure and it tells you about the left atrial pressure. Alright and therefore the point to be remembered is pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is not a naturally occurring pressure in the pulmonary capillaries. It has been created by your maneuver you have created a wedge and stopped the flow for some time and then measured the pressure. That's the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. It, it is actually a left atrial pressure.